Now, what do we do to either avoid or to detect that these types of attacks may be occurring? Number one is event log auditing. You can look at system events, application events, and user events. Each one of these event types are being logged in different types of logs, and you want to pay attention to login successes and failed logins. If you find that one particular user is logging in a lot at night, but that user only works during the day, that may raise suspicion. In order to understand what an unusual activity looks like, you've really got to know what usual activity appears to be. First step in event log auditing is know your system and know what a regular log looks like. Sometimes that's pretty boring. You want to automate the process as much as possible so that you'll be able to look at unusual activity and pick it out almost immediately. Another type of monitoring is keystroke monitoring. Now, keystroke monitoring is not something that you would normally do. Hackers use keystroke monitoring to extract important information such as passwords, user IDs, and other important phrases that they can use to attack a system. Always pay attention to the physical characteristics of a system. The most convenient way to monitor keystrokes is to place a hardware device. It looks almost like a dangle that you would use to attach a network cable to a laptop PC. Some of the older laptops would have the cables that would stick out of the side. It looks something like that. Very short cable, very short device that plugs into the keyboard port on the back of a machine. If you ever see one of those hanging off the machine, chances are somebody's monitoring the keystrokes. Only time to use this is hackers will use it to attack your system, or it's possible you may use this to investigate suspected inappropriate activity. Say someone is under investigation, you think they're using your machines for some purpose they ought not to be using it for, a keystroke monitor under the appropriate circumstances may be the way to go. These are very cheap devices, very easy to acquire, so it's not a bad idea periodically to physically look at the back of important machines and see if somebody's not monitoring keystrokes and you may not be aware of it.